I think it's very important for us Indigenous people to have a voice. It has changed in, you know, the last 10 years. It's getting better. Um, our voice getting recognised um, around Australia. Yeah, treaty, you know, being the first people of Australia, you know, it's a long time coming. We deserve a treaty, that acknowledgement that this is our country, this is our land. Our history, especially in Australia, needs to be heard. Um, and I feel it needs to be a subject that at school and also Aboriginal studies should be compulsory as well. Yep. Well, voice, treaty and truth, I think is a very significant and important theme this year as voice enables us all to come together and fight for our voice and fight for what's true and enables all of us to have that voice and feel belonged within our community, our families and the whole wide of Australia <coughs> without that non-judgement. Um, treaty is even very important as well just to be recognised as the First Nation people of this land, acknowledging us as those people and truth, you know, being able to go out there and tell the truth of what's happening within our history and being taught the right way. Voice for me, for our people, is um, understanding how our history, the storylines, the um, dreaming stories and from that our voices of our people being recognised within this country, within this community. Our struggles um, that our grandmothers and grandfathers have fought for, um, that have helped pave the way to what we have now. Having a voice now for our younger generations, for generations to come. It's important for our people to, to speak, to talk up and voice how they feel in regards to a lot of things. Um, country, community, identity, everything. Treaty to me means recognition of our people, first custodians of this land. And for government to recognise that is an important part of our history. Because we're forgotten in government, there's no recognition of treaty. They need to speak the truth about history, about our people, and what has happened in the past. For that to be acknowledged, then we can move forward. We can, you know, reconciliation. This needs to happen as a nation. We need to tell the truth, teach it in the schools, mm -hmm. teach our younger generations for now and to the future about what really happened to our people in the past.